Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem, we're given the value of f at x equals 2 is equal to 10, and we're given that the derivative of f is equal to x squared times f for all x, and given that information, we're asked to find the second derivative of f when x is equal to 2. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find the form of the second derivative. We're going to do that by taking the derivative of the derivative. So taking a look here, we're going to need to use the product rule, since we have x squared times m of x. So it's going to be 1 times the derivative of the other, and then plus the other times the derivative of the first one. All right? So x squared times the derivative of f plus f times the derivative of x squared. So this is going to be x squared. The derivative of f is just f. The derivative of f, we don't have any way to simplify that just yet, plus f of x times the derivative of x squared. The derivative of x squared we know is, since this is a power function, you can take the exponent and bring it down, and then your new exponent is 2 minus 1. So, you have x squared, and then the derivative of f is equal to x squared f of x, so we can plug that in, plus f of x times 2, x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the 1, which is just x. Now, this is the second derivative of f in terms of f and x. And what we have to do from here is we have to plug in 2. So 2 is equal to 2 squared times 2 squared f of 2 plus f of 2, 2 times 2. This is equal to 4 times 4 and then f of 2, we know is 10, plus 10 times 2 times 2 is 4. This is 4 times 4 is 16, times 10, plus 10 times 4 is 40. And this is 160 plus 40, which is 200. And that's going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.